Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. In this lesson we're going to learn how to put a sink inside a Chief base cabinet. Uh, specifically I'd like to put an apron sink in because the normal sinks are pretty easy. So here I have a cabinet that I set up already if you watched the last um, video that I made on base cabinets you'll see that the settings had this color and style with the countertop. Okay, So we're going to use that setting that I've already set up. And let's go to kitchen sinks and I'll just go regular undermount sink 32 inch and I can just click on the cabinet and it appears perfectly which is wonderful but it's a whole nother story when you're trying to do it with an apron sink which is this bad boy if I click it and click on the cabinet it just throws it right on the top so here's the workaround that I found that works pretty good first of all I go to the cross section elevation view and I draw it right through the front of the cabinet. Second of all, I notice that this apron front is going to take up the drawer. So I'm going to click on the drawer and I'm going to change it into a blank area, just a blank panel there. Click OK. And then I'm going to take the sink and holding down control on my mouse button, I'm going to grab the center piece, line it up with the doors. See the two doors? So I've got my crosshairs lined up and I'm going to bring it down to where I think it needs to go. And it looks like I could go a little higher just for giggles and I'll put it right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we've created. I'm going to use the orthographic full overview and there we go. Now the problem we're having right away as you can see is the countertop goes right through it. So I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to double click the cabinet and I'm going to go to the countertop section and I'm going to remove the countertop. I'm going to zero this out, zero the overhang out. I'm going to make sure to go to moldings tab because remember I assigned a molding on that previous video. I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to go back to the general tab and set the height to a normal base cabinet height. It's 34.5 leaving an inch and a half for the countertop and click OK. Now with the cabinet selected I need to draw my own specific countertop on it. In this case, why don't we put two cabinets on either side? And then I'm going to select the first cabinet and I'm going to put a countertop on it. I'm going to take the countertop and I'm going to drag it all the way over to there. Now, selecting the countertop again, hitting the tab on the keyboard, because it got the cabinet the first time I selected, I'm going to put a cut line there and a cut line there. And I'm going to grab this bad boy and I'm going to bring it back to there. Now take a look and I've generated a countertop for it. Now on my countertop I want to open it up and give it the same edge detail so everything matches. So I'm going to scroll down here to edge molding and click OK. And so it doesn't get in the way I'm going to select these two, open it up and delete my edge molding. Whoops, delete. There we go. That way the old edge doesn't interfere with the new edge grab the color and apply. And there we go. Now let's take a look. I've got a nice simple apron front sink placed in the cabinet. Now I can change its heights, its properties, its depth like I see it needs to go depth wise back. So I'm just going to grab it and go back and right through it. I click the countertop and maybe sink it back a little bit. I also have the option if I want to do an undermount here. I could just grab it and lower it a bit. So let's open it up. Let's go to like 27 and a half, let's just say. And then if we zoom in, we can see the countertops kind of rolling over and giving it a nice undermount feel. So that can really do wonders for us. Now that that's set, we can simply look for a dishwasher. That is a good question. <laughs> I find myself doing that all the time type in the wrong thing left to right and we can put in our dishwasher. Finish off our nice kitchen island slash kitchen countertop slash whatever. It's simply installing a sink in kitchen cabinets of Chief Architect which is quite fun and easy to do uh, if you know the steps and now that you know the steps all is well in the universe. Last thing to do is take a nice little ray trace and just see how everything turned out with shadows. That's truly the best way to finalize any type of design. Make sure everything is exactly where it should be and it sure looks good. That's the way it should be. Thank you for joining and I hope you learned a lot. Talk to you soon.